Hello, Dad. What is this, do your job half-ass day at the Santa Barbara Police Department? I've got serious business to tend to. Serious business? You're going to the opening of a new cupcake store. No, we're going to a closing of an old cupcake store. And then we're going to the opening of a new cupcake store. Bring me back red velvet. And just give us our check. Sign. Just interrupt. That's that's. There you go. Thank you. I want to die and come back as that peach scarf. Huh? I thought you wanted to come back as the skinny Elvis. No, you wanted to come back as skinny Elvis. I wanted to come back as black Michael Jackson. And now you're downgrading to a scarf? You know that's right. We will keep this report on file, and if you need absolutely anything else, please don't hesitate to give me a call. What's your number? I was gonna ask you the same question. Um, Gus, please, this woman may have witnessed a crime. A crime in progress. She's still in my heart, but I am pressing charges. Wow. I would like to apologize for my creepy colleague. No need. I find his energy very soothing. Really? Your silhouette should be on a mud flat. That's the weirdest flirting I've ever heard. Burden Gusta P.I. My apologies for your traumatic crime seeing experience. Mm -hmm. Guys, sidebar? Sure. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere near this one. Why is that? Because Janice Joplin over there is crazier than Janice Dickinson. This girl's obviously been doing a little too much of this. <laughs> Suffering from hemorrhoid pain. Doing an inaccurate impression of Dr. Evil's face? <laughs> she claims she witnessed a murder in an alley right off of Main Street at the height of lunch hour. That is crazy. No chance of getting a table after that. We checked with all the businesses in the area. The only weird thing anyone saw was a girl in a peach scarf dancing off a Greyhound bus. So? That doesn't mean it didn't happen. Look at the girl. Well, she's been living in the hills. She hasn't been down to the city in five years. She meditated during the interview. The only understandable thing in the witness statement was a doodle of three large circles. Maybe a snowman did it. Okay, you've been warned. Okay. I don't know, man. As much as I like to zig when Lassiter zags, I'm feeling pretty zaggy. So what do you say we hit the uh, Museum of Lactose Intolerance like you've been wanting to? No can do, Sean. I feel a case coming on, and it's coming hard. It, it, it's the creepiest euphemism of all time. So, what did the killer look like exactly? I don't remember, but it happened right over there. Okay. So, you didn't see the killer, you barely saw the victim, and you were the only one looking down the alley? Wait, no, I, I do remember something about the victim. He had a very heavy presence. Mm, that's good. It's not great. Yes, for this conversation it is. Oh, oh, I'm getting something. Gus. Over here. Excuse me one second. You think she's making it up? I don't know, man. I guess I think she believes it. The only reason we're listening to any of this is because you have a crush on her. This is what are you into granola chicks anyway? First of all, do not try to put me in a box. I'm a complicated man who likes complicated women and Brazilians. Secondly, I've seen you take a case based on the testimony of a cat. It was suspicious meowing, not testimony. Don't be ridiculous. Trust me, this girl did not witness some murder. <laughs> I've given it some thought, and I'm willing to reconsider. You think? Someone is after her. 